Most of the Tenkara flies in Japan seem to be about a size 12. They don't fish size 26 midges over there. However, this is a size 14. Sakakibara sensei ties flies up to and including a size 2. The day that he showed me this fly was on a day just after we had fished on a tiny mountain stream, perhaps 30 feet across, catching 8 and 9 inch, maybe 10 inch fish. And he'll fish a fly, maybe not this big, but certainly he fishes size 4 in that stream. And the size 2 that he tied for me is just an example. The fly I will tie, I couldn't bring myself to buy a size 2 hook. This is a size 6 nymph hook, and that's what I'll be using today. The hook is the Daiichi 1560 nymph hook, size 6. The yarn body is a yarn that I used before I discovered the Killabug yarn. This is also a Jameson's Shetland Spindrift. This color is Shulmet Shayla which is kind of a brownish gray and gives a very interesting color to the fly. It gets much darker when wet. And I think it could be used to mimic either a stone fly, perhaps even a, a small uh, crayfish. But it's a big fly and it's for big fish. I think you could use this easily for bass as well as large trout. So let's tie this Sakakibara Kebari. Starting with black thread, just past the eye. And you have to go back a little ways because this is such a large hook. Hen pheasant feather from the back. This is how, you, this is how and where you use all those big feathers that you can't use for any other fly. Strip off the part we won't use, although we'll use probably all of this. Cut off the stem so it doesn't get caught in the thread as we wrap. Tying it in again from the tip. Just a few wraps to tighten it down. Cut off the excess. Go forward to where you started, back to the hackle, three wraps afterwards to get the thread out of the way just a little bit. And again, stroking the feather forward. It won't get all the barbs, but it will get most of them going just the way you want them to be for a Sekasa Kabari. And this is a Sakasa Kabari. The hackle will be slanted forward. When you're using the whole feather, sometimes they don't want to get on the right side of the hook. But this is a big fly. You can use big feathers that you can't use for anything else. Now I tie in the yarn. and wrapping back to the hackle so that the yarn starts right at the base of the hackle. Clip off the excess. Just get the thread back to the bend of the hook. You certainly don't need touching turns for this part of it because it'll all be covered by the yarn. And here I just put it out of the way. This is one fly you do not want to uh, flatten out as you wrap the yarn, so I'll keep it twisted a little bit. It gives a little bit of segmentation. A 
but the gray and the brown kind of mold together, meld together. So it's, it's not one color, it's a little mottled, and I think it looks a little bit better in the water that way. It gets much darker when it's wet. A few thread wraps to tie it down. Cut off the tag. Just a few more to neaten it up a little bit. Then the whip finish back to where you started, creating a little bit of a thread tag. And there you have the Sakakebara Kebari, another very simple tie, big fly, big fish. Now, doesn't he also fish for little fish with this? He does. He, he fishes for the type of, the size of fish you'd catch in a mountain stream, eight, nine inch fish. Uh, it may look like a minnow. Uh, fish will eat anything that will fit in their mouth, and even a six inch fish could take a fly this size. Um, I would fish this probably, again, dead drift the first time through. Uh, twitched after that with just pulses, which not only will cause the, the hackle to pulse a little bit, it would make it look an awful lot like either a minnow trying to escape or even a little crayfish with the uh, um, hackle. So it's, it's almost like streamer fishing, fishing that one. This one you could fish it just like a streamer. On a, on a tenkara rod, obviously you don't strip in the line, but by twitching the top of the rod tip, or pulsing might be a better word, the top of the rod tip, you can get it to move six to eight inches at a time, just the same way you would if you were uh, stripping in a streamer. And is it heavy to cast? There's no extra weight on it, so it is heavier than the other flies. The hook is heavier, obviously, because of its size. The yarn will absorb water from the stream, so it's a little heavier. It's probably not one you would want to cast with an ayu, although you certainly could. Uh, but something like the Yamame or the Imago. The Imago would be a great choice for this fly. Uh, it's a good big fish rod. This is a big fish fly. Um, and maybe a size 4 or even a size 5 line would work very well. All right, could you put that, uh, your uh, Dr. Uh, Ishigaki Kabari up there right next to it so we can really see the difference at the same time? Uh-huh. And yours is only a size 6, not a size 2, as uh, Sakakibara Kibara might actually Although use. Although this, this is a nymph hook, which is 1XL, so the shaft length would be equivalent to a size 4. Okay, I see. But uh, obviously, compared to the size 14 dry fly hook, it is a much larger fly. But again, a 6-inch fish can easily eat a minnow this size, mm -hmm. can easily uh, take a fly this size.